Marty goes straight for the single leg takedown. He gets it with a double leg. Hands in side control. Keeping the pressure on Kevin straight away. Marty was always mat bound on this one. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. It's in good control just now, Stuart. There's Robert Gard there from Kevin. It's not very common you see the Robert Gard anymore. It's quite effective, the Robert Gard, you know, keeps your opponent, stops your opponent, pushes them up. You able to aim down when he punches. Yeah. Kevin's probably hoping to get this one back on his feet. Actually unable to do anything about this here. He's throwing punches but just can't get by the rubber guard that he'd. It's a very strong rubber guard. He's managing to get it in higher. Every time Match is finding a, a, a gap there to throw punches, Kevin's just rolling onto that side and just stop the punches coming in. Trying to slam him down there, Matchy. Still holding on though, Kevin. Didn't seem to phase him. Uh, Robert Gard keeping up higher and higher up the, up the neck there, Stuart. Oh, we're looking just to slip that over the head there. Put in a bit of a stalemate. The referee stands him up. I'm actually complaining about the elbow there in the old home tournament. It's perfectly legal. Pick there again, Matthew going straight for the takedown, gets it again. He's very, very quick with his takedowns, Matthew. Nice to just show speed as well. That's to be said, you know, he's not a fine link his game here completely. Link in half guard now. Looking just to release that left leg. Kevin looking to use the cage to try and push off. Ends up in side control. Kevin Reed again, just quite happy to absorb these punches, got his hands up in place. Yeah, walking along the cage wall. Matty will be looking to try and push him away from the wall. Matty's just trying to get some space here out right in the middle of the cage. It's a deep side control he's got in there, it's very good. Huge elbow there. That's the dangerous thing about elbows, they will cut you if they land. They're trying to explode. Actually managing to get in. Well, for the new Hall call on time there. The 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock elbow. See, this is what magic. Uh, what uh, Matchy was complaining about earlier on. He complained about the 12 to 6 elbow, but the 12 to 6 elbow was thrown while Kevin was on his back, back, so it's not uh, going to be a 12 to 6 elbow. No. You know, although it comes from the same position, you're not generating as much power into it, you're not generating the same torque. So obviously he's thought it's okay for Kevin Reed to throw a 12 to 6 elbow, I'm going to yeah. throw one too. The referee's just explaining it to him that he can't do that. Yeah, I mean it was different circumstances with both elbows and obviously um, Matthew just uh, misunderstanding yeah. the referee's message to him there. Yeah, Neil Hall seen that as a deliberate foul. He's deducted a point. Good job there. Matthew going to look for the takedown again, pressing him against the cage. Kevin controlling this time, managing to get Mat Matthew against the cage. So Matthew is pretty much on top of that round there. Getting the point deducted from him takes him from 10 points to 9 points. So we're looking at a level round again. We're looking at what should be scored as a 9-9 nine, nine, nine round. 
Yeah. It's always play for you in the dying moments of this round, uh, Ke Kevin. But Kev, Kev could steal it if he manages to, to do something here. He will need to do something or it will be a draw. Managing to get Matche down and the dominant position. Could this be enough? Raining down shot. Matche trying to keep him as close as possible. Got the leg in there for a possible butterfly sweep. Kevin just looking for space to throw something while his punches on the elbow. Throwing his shot elbows. elbows again, that was lovely work there. Last 10 seconds called. Matche just needs to hang on in there. But has Kevin stolen that round, Stuart? Yep, just opened up a, a nice cut there on the left hand side of Matche's forehead. Sure, his corner will be able to deal with that very, very quickly. Yeah, as I said before about the elbows, that's the danger of them. That's why you don't see them in amateur because they right. do cut. I think Kevin Reed just doing enough there to steal that round. I totally agree with you there, Stuart. Managing to get the takedown in the dominant position at the end. I think if I was sitting in the judges' chair this evening, I think I'd be scoring that as a 9 8 round. Definitely. I mean, um, up until the deduction, it was all matchy. If it wasn't for the deduction, potentially the draw, maybe even matchy in matchy's favour, but. I mean, just uh, with Kev managing a surprise at the end there and get the takedown on Machi. And our second round is underway. Matty going straight again for that double leg. He's got a very quick shoot, Stuart Matty. Kevin Reed doing really well to stuff a take down there. Matty just grabbing a hold of that foot, trying to pull it from under him. If he can get the leverage, he might manage it. I think just unfortunately for Kevin here, he's toe caught on the, the, the pad there. Just at the side of the cage and tripped over. And Kevin goes himself straight back, back again, straight back into that rubber guard again. It seems to be working quite well for him as a defence against Machi. Yeah, that, that left leg, the heel, pretty much hooked over the shoulder. The left shoulder of Machi there. That cut's been opened up again, so it must have just been the friction of the, the takedown. I think the cut should be okay. I mean, it's. It's not going to affect his, his vision at all, I don't think. It's, no. it's slightly behind the eye, uh, even though it's quite high up in the forehead. Great transition the there to throw him out. And Macho looking to capitalise with some shots. Kev, Nikos. Kev can't just lie here and take them. Try to hold Macho down. Kevin just looking Managing to control to the arms here. Out. Slips his steps out, lovely magic. Matchy back into side control. Yeah, he saw, he saw that he was losing it and just quickly nipped into side control, so he's still got the dominant position. And here you see him try to close in the mount again, but beautiful reversal from Kevin. And again, oh, another one. Matchy. Some good back and forth wrestling here, Stuart. And Matchy now try to land the strikes. Kev possibly. Thinking about giving up his back, he didn't though. Kevin's managed to slip his left hand out there. He's actually trapped under the knee of Machi there for a wee minute. He's holding onto the hand there, Stuart, trying to stop the strikes. Machi just keeps pulling him down. Nice, nice short elbow, elbow to the cheek there. He'll go for the armbar. Has he got it? Kev manages to slip out there. Great defence there again from Reed. Machi looking for the triangle. Machi looking for the triangle now. Has he got it in enough? Now this is where Machi could be throwing that elbow. He could be throwing that to the top of the head. Instead he's choosing to go for the hammer fist. And Kev <laughs> retaliating <laughs> with the same thing. Kevin Reed getting punched in the face and smiling at the same time. That's what you like to see. That's what the MMA is all about. Matty going for the arm. Kevin again with a defence attempt and he gets it. Now he's got Matty's back. 
looking for the choke. And Matty Manzo to pull it back in. So yeah. Now Matty finds himself. He's back to the canvas. Half guard for Reed. Reed in a good strong position here. Raining down the hammer fist. Looking to drop that elbow yet again. Match is doing well to keep his left hand up and stop it. Just stuffing these shots coming in. It's a very close round this one, Stuart. Good Reed's elbows shots. in again from Reed. And again. These elbows finding the mark to the cheek. If Matchy Max. Link here, Max, he's got to do something here. He's got to get out of this. He's got to try and slip his hips out here, Stuart. Cried on the feet. Good control from Kevin with the strikes. One of those elbows landed flush there, Stuart. Match is struggling on the ref. Ref is it enough. Calling time on it. Match Lincoln not complaining too much about that. That was an absolutely fantastic fight. Great end, great main event. Yeah, Stuart, I mean, the show's been fantastic throughout, and it just shows you how much both fighters put out there lying in the middle of the cage. No doubt what fight of the night was tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've just watched it there. Excellent display from both men, leaving it all in the cage to top a fantastic show. We're going to get the official time and uh, announce that to the crowd. And then it's off to Tiger Tiger for a few beers at the Immortals after party. <laughs>